Mm. Oh, coffee. Just a quick one before we get stuck in. I wanted to let you guys know that my band Vower have announced their debut EP, Apricity, which comes out on the 8th of July, 2024. And we have pre-orders for vinyls and merch, first edition vinyl, limited edition merch, all available. And it's all in the description box. So if you want to check out and get one of these vinyls, we've only got a limited amount as well. And please check the link, go check out the store and support Vower because we're very excited. Can't wait to release this EP into the world. Anyway, how are you doing everyone? It's Rubia, hope you're all well. I'm sorry for the clickbait title of this video, but it is true, I did lose my guitars last weekend. And I wanted to make this video to share some advice, especially for those of you who are planning on doing fly gigs, whether it's overseas to different parts of the country or whatever it is, you're doing tours overseas, festivals, some of this knowledge will hopefully be helpful to you, while some of you may go, it's very obvious, some of you might have not thought about it and sharing this experience, giving you some of this advice may hopefully be useful to some of you. So in short, Frogly were meant to be playing Grass Pop Festival last weekend. We're all really looking forward to it. It's a great festival. And in a nutshell, we had to cancel the festival because me and Hannah got stuck in our, connected, in our connection country. We were flying from England to Frankfurt, from Frankfurt to Brussels, where the festival is. And we got stuck in Frankfurt overnight because of weather. And basically, they lost my bags. There was this huge situation regarding getting them back. They didn't get loaded onto the plane. I got back to England and it was really stressful because I didn't have my guitars. And of course, these are my new Music Man Sabres, one of which is Zero of 30, uh, Frenzied Flame, so it really means a lot to me. And some of you might say, well, why are you taking such uh, valuable sentimental guitars with you? Well, these are my guitars that I use now for gigging. So I was just stressed about it because I really wanted them back. And all I had from Lufthansa, the airline that we were using, was we didn't load your bags onto the plane. When I rang them to say, can you, can you tell me when they're going to come back? They said, well, we don't know where they are. We don't know. We haven't found them. So as you can imagine, I was really stressed about it. My guitars were in a different country. I was back in England and the airline said, we don't know where your guitars are. We don't know where we can find them because loads of people had connections missed and there was loads of baggage and the baggage company were overrun, which I understand is obviously stressful for everybody. But in my situation, I just wanted my guitars back. And one of the worst bits is when we missed our connection, tried to rebook a flight, they wouldn't let me take my guitars out. I wanted to rent a car and drive to Brussels because it's three hours away from Frankfurt and they wouldn't let me take my bags out because there was too many bags in the airport for the company to work through. And that would be my first piece of advice is try avoid connections. I know that's not always possible, but if you can try fly direct because the connection in that part of the flight is just another area where something could go wrong. Bags could not get loaded on. In my case, that's what happened or they get misplaced or whatever, you lose a bag. It's really one of those things where, especially if you're flying expensive gear or just your gear, um, that it could get lost and it's really stressful. So avoid connections if you can. So the next piece of advice, which made the whole ordeal a little less stressful, was the fact I knew my gear was in flight cases. Now, sometimes I've flown with soft cases and usually I can take them on the flight. They fit in the overhead locker, like the mono bags fit in the overhead locker, but sometimes they don't let you do that. So they have to put them in the hold, which is always scary if they're in a soft case because you think, well, if a heavy bag lands on it, it's gonna break the neck, something like that. And you know, it's something to worry about. So some people buy an extra seat for their bag. That can be expensive and not always possible if the flight's full. So if you can use flight cases, for the longest time, I used an Enki flight case, but to be perfectly honest, I really don't like it because it's too narrow and when you're walking through an airport, it starts to wobble and topple over and it's really, really annoying. So I borrowed Joe's Scott Dixon and these are like the industry standard touring hard case for flying. They're just awesome. It's a coffin shaped flight case. You can take the front off, it acts as a guitar stand and they're just really, really damn useful. Um, there's a company called Quantum Industries, which I'm really interested in checking out because apparently they are fantastic. But for this uh, gig, I used Joe's Scott Dixon. So I'm going to show you how it works inside and then we're going to carry on with the story. So as you can see, you've got these butterfly clips, which are all very, very useful, very useful stuff. There's a combo lock on top. And basically my guitars live in here, which is sick because you take the lid off and then you can just unclip them 
and then take them out of the case and play your gig, put them back or whatever. So that's really cool. And it can fit three in there. And you, you've got a little bit of extra space for stuff. In my case, I had a little extra space for this gig box here. Inside here is the most valuable piece of tech to help get around the stress and worry about this situation if you lose your bags or you want to check that they've made it. Let me show you my QC pedal board. So, it's a Schmidt Array pedal board, which if you watch that pedal show, you'll be familiar with. All right, I have my kettle plugs, IECs, I've got spare jack leads, as you can see. And this is probably the one complaint I have with the Schmidt Array stuff is this weird modular design. I get that it allows you to take it out and it's fixed in place, but it always unpops when it's being carted around. And as you can see, I failed to uh, Velcro my QC down enough, so it's shifted, of course. So, but in any case, one of the last gripes I have with this is just all the random little bits of wood. It's like, it's a nice pedal board when it works, and it feels sturdy having the lid like that. But if you fly a lot, it doesn't feel like it's the most secure for your gear because this came off a plane and that's the state that it was in. However, it is nice having like the patch bays on the side so I can patch in all my cables, how I want them, effects loops and stuff. And then on the back, you can see I've got XLR outs and stuff like that. I've got my IEC input. So they are, good and they are nicely designed but i would say if you're flying with them they can't they're not necessarily the most reliable in terms of you know all the different uh, bits falling around inside the case so let me show you what's in this box that i travel with um, first things first i've got a pick holder because these are mega useful dunlop pick holder and it means if i drop a pick i can quickly grab one off the mic stand super cheap super super awesome however don't forget it on the mic stand like i do i always lose it um, next, GHS Fast Fret. You guys know if you followed me for a while, I swear by this stuff. I've been using it since I started playing guitar and I can't not use it. It's kind of a curse, but a blessing at the same time. Next up, I use these Levies uh, or Levi's, whatever you call them. They're like pack holders. So I put them on my guitar strap for my in-ears packs. Uh, and if I use wireless as well, I've got a second one so I can run wireless and in-ears all at the same time. Very useful. Spare strings, of course. These are my custom slinkies, 1156, that hopefully will come out at some point. Very, very cool. A multi-tool for quick adjustments on the road. A string winder, of course. If we go further into the, the box, you'll see there's a spare, spare TRS patch cable. And then, of course, the creme de la creme of the whole case. This is an Apple AirTag. Now, what an Apple AirTag does is it pings off Bluetooth from other people's phones and it allows you to track its location. And it's just a genius idea by Apple. And I know Samsung make the equivalent, if you're an Android user, Samsung also do these, but I use Apple stuff. And these AirTags are invaluable if you're a traveling musician. You put one of these in your guitar case, pedal board, backpack, suitcase, whatever it is that you're traveling with that you, you wanna know where it is. And you can use your phone using the Find My app on, on iPhone and you can see exactly, exactly where your gear is. So although they told me they couldn't find my bag, I could see that it was in Frankfurt Airport. I could see that it was just sitting in one location for like a number of days. And I've got screenshots you can see up on screen now. I was sharing it on my stories. I was sharing this whole ordeal on my stories. Um, but thankfully, having an AirTag in there just made the whole experience a little less stressful. It's one thing that I know my guitars are you know, in the airport, so that's good but it's another thing that they just sit in the same place. So you start to get annoyed because you don't see any movement, even though they told you that, you know, they're gonna find them, they're gonna send them back to England and whatever. The AirTag, super, super useful. Samsung's equivalent, I don't know its name, but if you're an Android user, you probably do. But if you don't have these and you're a traveling musician, do yourself a favor and get some, they're amazing. About hundred quid for a pack of three, I think, which is pretty fair and I have one in my pedal board, have one in my guitar case, have one in my backpack with my laptop, and I also have one in my luggage when I fly as well. And it just makes so much sense. I have to say as well, the reliability of them is fantastic. They just use standard watch batteries. You can replace them really easily. But what's 
The cool thing about the design is the way that it pings off other people's Bluetooth. So for example, if one of the baggage employees has a phone in his pocket with Bluetooth on, it will ping off that and it will give me an updated location of where it is. It's incredible and it really helped me. So after all that, having my AirTag in the guitar case, seeing that it was in Frankfurt and then it finally made it to Gatwick, I then was told that I wasn't allowed to pick it up. A courier service had to deliver my guitars. Luckily, I still had the AirTag in there. I could see it just wasn't moving. It was like 24 hours, then it became day two. It hadn't moved anywhere. So I'm like, I'm sick of this. I need my guitars. I just drove up to Gatwick and picked them up myself. Had to fill out a load of customs paperwork, which was annoying, but security airports is important. And then I finally, finally got my guitars back. The whole ordeal took about four days to get my guitars back, which is really, really stressful, especially when your guitars are valuable, they mean something to you, you need to use them uh, and you can't get them and the airline's just not being very helpful at all. So that's the video. I just wanted to share my experience, my ordeal in this situation, but most importantly, give you advice. If you are traveling overseas, if you're flying, if you're moving to different parts of the country on tour for festivals, those bits of advice I feel are really important and things I will always try and stick by. First one is avoid connections, fly direct if you can. Second one is use flight cases, you might not always be able to get a seat for your guitar. Make sure they're protected. And the third one, most important one for me, is have air tags or the Samsung equivalent in your cases so that you can track where they are. Use the app on your iPhone called Find My and you can literally track the exact location wherever they are. If they haven't made it onto the next flight or you've left it somewhere or whatever it is, you can track it and it keeps your mind at ease and it gets rid of that stress. So yeah. Hopefully this video has been useful to some of you guys. And again, for all those that follow me on Instagram that were sharing positivity and keeping me uh, sane throughout that last four or five days without my guitars, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's the video. So I hope you find it useful. Last reminder, my band Vowers EP is coming out on the 8th of July, 2024. We have limited edition, first edition vinyl and merch, which you can order, links in the description box. I'll link everything else in the description box as well. Thank you for watching this video. I've been Rabia and I will see you all very soon.